Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. So we are still learning the application of complex integration to evaluate real integrals. And we learned type 1. I hope you watched all the four videos because in every video I did a different question. The method is very lengthy. So practice a lot of questions similar to the questions that we did in the videos. Now let's quickly move on to type 2. If you watched all the four videos, now you'll find type 2 very easy because it's like connected with type 1. So can you see it's an improper integral minus infinity to infinity. You can even see polynomial divided by polynomial. Can you see polynomial by polynomial? But it will be multiplied by sine or it will be multiplied by cos. Anyway, the condition for convergence is, I told you, we cannot evaluate any improper interval. There will be some conditions. M should be a positive number. Degree of the denominator is bigger than degree of the numerator. And the denominator should never ever become zero. In type 1, I kept on telling a name that is Cauchy's Lemma. Similarly, here we will use Jordan's Lemma. So basically, uh, the contour will be the same. We will consider the same circle which can be extended to minus infinity to infinity. And C plus means, C means the whole stuff. This is minus R to R and C plus. And C plus is the part of the circle which is above the X axis. So same contour and we take R tend to infinity. According to Jordan's lemma, in the C plus region, that means the part of the semicircle above the X axis, the integral will vanish. In Cauchy, we had an advantage. It will vanish in the above and it will vanish in the small circles in the x-axis. Anyway, let's try one question. But before we start, make sure you understand this part. What is e power i theta cos theta plus i sin theta? And because of that, e power i mx will be cos mx plus i sin mx. And once more, I can give you one guarantee. The students who worked on type 1, all the four problems and who worked out similar problems will enjoy this type. Okay, so let's have a question. So evaluate. Oh, wait a minute. Violation minus infinity to infinity. It's not minus infinity to infinity. What will you do if you do not have minus infinity to infinity? Very simple. We will apply the property 2 times 0 to infinity if we are allowed to apply that property. Anyway, we won't think about that part right now. So, what should I do first? Similar to type 1. Consider the integral. I am writing integral over C. I am replacing every x with the letter Z. And I am creating my own contour. And the contour will be the x-axis from minus r to r and the part of the circle mod z equal to r. In examination, you must explain or you may lose mark. You have to explain, you have to draw the diagram and if you want, you can code this. Okay, now as usual, I am going for the singularities. So, what are the singularities? Uh, the denominator equal to 0, so I got two singularities. And since the contour is same, and since the story is same, we will consider only the singularity above the axis. By the way, I don't know how many of you noticed one very important thing. Can you see, in type 1, I asked you to replace every x with z. But here I did something else. So let it be sin or cos. Suppose in a question, they give you sin 2x. So you have to write e power i into 2z. Because this will be equal to cos 2x, I mean cos 2z plus i sin 2z. 
Suppose in another question, they give you cos mx. So you will write e to the power i m z. So I hope why, uh, why I put this. Anyway, this is the integral. And I have to calculate the residue. I don't care about it. What is the reason? Because it is not above. So r is equal to limit z tends to i a z minus i a z into e power i z divided by i hope you saw the question z into e power i z z minus i a into z plus i a let me ask you one question how many methods are there to calculate the residue the series method the limit method and i told you one very 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 special case especially in the last two videos if you have polynomial by polynomial no this is not polynomial by polynomial so i don't care so i have to factorize i have to cancel it and plug it so i a e power i into i a divided by i a plus i a that will give me i a divided by 2 i a what is i square minus so e power minus a and the whole thing cancels and I get e power minus a divided by 2. So the answer to the integral that I created, not the question, I created an integral z e power i z divided by z square plus a square has a value. How do you find the value of the integral? According to Cauchy, it will be 2 pi i multiplied by sum of the residues inside or on the contour and here all the singularities are above so it's going to get multiplied by this and integral over c z e power i z divided by z square plus a square equal to i pi e power minus a now look at this now what i'm going to do is uh, if you want you can convert it into cos and sine now itself uh, but now what I am going to do is I am going to tell oh my contour is from minus r to r and c plus so I can write this integral as minus r to r uh, not the same stuff it will be real because it's a real axis plus integral over c plus c plus means the part above the axis is equal to i pi e power minus a now look at this the only difference in type 1 and type 2 is you are going to apply something called Jordan's lemma and just like I recommended you to copy the statement of Cauchy's lemma in the other videos here in type 2 in examination you have to quote Jordan's lemma and because of Jordan's lemma, this part will vanish. So, according to Jordan's lemma, uh, I showed you over here, function multiplied by this exponential part will become 0 when r tends to infinity. So, when r tends to infinity, according to Jordan's lemma, this will vanish. And when r tends to infinity, this will become minus infinity to infinity. So, what I found is, minus infinity to infinity x e to the power i x divided by x square plus a square dx is equal to i pi e power minus a don't be very happy don't be very happy because this is not the question that they asked me to solve look did they ask me to solve this no they asked me to solve something with sign or cos it's not a big deal. What is e power i theta? So in the next line, I'm going to write this as integral minus infinity to infinity x multiplied by cos x plus i sin x divided by x square plus a square is equal to i pi e power minus a. And that will be, now you can take this inside and you can split it. Um, that's easy to understand. You think about it for a minute you'll understand so it'll be like x cos x divided by x square plus a square plus i x sin x 
divided by x square plus a square. If you want, I'll give a small explanation. a into b plus c is ab plus ac. Divided by d will be a by db, a by dc. Okay. Um, I'll put dx. I'll split the integral. I'll put dx here. And this will be 0 plus. Can you see a complex number here? If I say 7i is a complex number, what I mean is it is 0 plus 7i. When I say 3 is a complex number, what I mean is 3 plus 0i. So this is a complex number. Now can you see? In examination, if they ask this, the value of this integral will be 0. But here, in this question, they asked you to find this value. So the value will be pi e power minus a. So I hope you understood the method. I'll be back with a similar problem. So till then my friends, bye.